What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Sejuani in the jungle. And I decided that with uh, with the new Cinder Hulk and all that good patch 5.5 stuff, that I would do the Sejuani for you guys, because she is so good right now. Uh, so good, in fact, that she is going to be getting nerfed very soon. Uh, not like a horrible nerf that will make her like the worst champion ever or anything like that, but it is a slight nerf, so, I mean, I think it's very, very necessary nerf, too, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, obviously using the Poor Rider skin, the best skin with Sejuani, because it's so goddamn cute. Just, just look at that thing! Just look at it! Let's go eat the Lucian. Hey, no, come here. Give me that butt. Give me that. Lucian. Give me that butt. Lucian. 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 Give me that butt, Lucian. Give me that butt. Come here. No, 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 no. I want the booty. I want the booty, Lucian. Mm. Give, me, give me the booty. Give me the booty. Give me the booty. Give me that. Give me the booty. Yo, stop pinging. I don't want to invade. <laughs> I'm said you want him, man. Anyways, just gonna start with my W here. A uh, couple of things with Sedge that you need to remember for playing as or playing against her or playing with her. Um, she cannot do these early ganks. Um, she's basically the epitome of worthlessness if you try and get her to do some super early gank. Um, because she needs level 3 before she ganks. She can't do the cheesy ganks at level 2 like other junglers can. But... That is A-OK. -okay. It's just part of, you know, it's part of the dealio, yo. And obviously, as with most of the other tank junglers, it's not exactly a super slow clear by any means, but it's clearly not like a super fast clear until you have your uh, Bami's Cinder or whatever it is, at least, or uh, or the Cinder Hulk. Does that actually do... Does it actually do burn damage? Yeah, it totally does. Okay. I was going to say, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and run over here. Looks like it'll be the Fizz versus Fizz top lane up there um, with a Nautilus support. Why is that popular? I've seen that three times today. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Uh, looking like the Ash AD carry Syndra mid and a Vi for the enemy jungler. So, somewhat odd picks for their team. Uh, with the Ash AD carry, the Nautilus support, and the Syndra mid. Um, those are just... I don't want to say bad picks, but they're definitely unexpected. Because Syndra has been nerfed. Her early game is not very good right now. Um, Ash, I mean, it's Ash. She's not necessarily bad, but she's not really good. Looks like the Vigant coming out, though. The exhaust going down. Maybe it's looking like they might live. Lucian, use your auto attacks. All right. Nami going to be getting it. And it's looking like this is definitely going to be horrible for the enemy team as the bot lane gets three kills. So, very good for us. Very, very bad for them. Granted, Nami got two of those kills. So, you know, that's something. And... <laughs> what? Fizz didn't even touch him? What are you doing, Fizz? What are you doing? Oh, golly. All right. Fizz, our Fizz, is not even touching the enemy. I guess I just bought four health potions, so I'll be able to sustain for a while now. Uh, I can also get some ganks out maybe on mid, because Zyra does have some pretty high damage output, um, and we'll see how it goes. I obviously don't play Sejuani a ton. God, this mount is so cute. But I do know that she is pretty effective past, uh, past what is it, past level 3? Past level 3? Just because the amount of, like, general crowd control she brings is pretty immense. So let's just see here. Can I force a gank here? Well, not when I show myself. So I accidentally peeked out of the bush. Um... And that, well, that really just ruined all chance of having a, a successful gank there. So I'm going to grab the Rift Scuttler here um, so we can have some vision for our teammates in the river. And also, 
just for the sake of having the Rift Scuttler. Because, I mean, it is a decent hunk of extra gold for me. And it also acts as, like I said, the Speed Shrine and a ward. So, very useful to have. And it's also like 100 gold to kill. So, it's definitely not like a waste of your time either. So, we can go ahead and just... Actually, I can smite this with no shame. So, I accidentally pulled them out, so I didn't smite the whole camp. But that's totally fine. We'll be clearing this. And Raptors... Uh, are a good camp to clear, the other good camp to clear, obviously, or not to clear, to smite. Raptors are good to smite, and then Gromp is very good to smite, because those are the two buffs that you really, really like having. Um, Gromp buff got buffed a lot, and when you combine it with Sejuani's W and the, um, the Cinder Hulk enchantment, it's actually a pretty big boost in constant AoE damage. So... More things to just keep in mind while you're playing Sejuani, or really any junglers right now. All the tank junglers just thrive off of uh, the current Gromp buff. It's so good, because they changed it to a percentage of your health, as opposed to just being um, an additional damage per level. So, it gets pretty damn high. Like, towards the later parts of the game, it's like 300 damage over a couple seconds. And that's ridiculous for just a smite buff and it's looking like Zyra could be in trouble here the ultimate coming out though knocking all three of them up Lucian dashing in shooting the wrong one okay okay Lucian well you tried okay so I'm just gonna come in here there's gonna be a ward in this bush let's go ahead and just take that shit out yo all right war gone maybe I can find oh what are you still staying for? Lush if Once Lucian pushes the wave, this will be a very easy dive. So, I'll just sit here. Oh, hello. Hello. So, I don't really even need to force anything. I can just sit here and bop. Boink. Boosh. All right, there goes their heal as well. So, <laughs> a very easy dive. As you guys could see, there was no reason for me to try and overly force it. Uh, or anything of the sort. Because she wasn't getting anywhere. We had Nami behind her. We had me behind her. There was just absolutely nothing that could be done there. So I did actually smite that camp. I'm not sure why. Or not camp, but Scuttle Crab. Um, and it's looking like... What level is Vi? She just hit level 5. So that's good for us. That's good for us because we have been 5 for a little bit. And after we clear this camp will actually be uh, decently ahead of her in experience, because I'll just be able to go all the way over here, run straight to my red. <clears throat> Looks like it'll be up in 15 seconds. And actually, the red should get me to level 6, and I can really start doing the ganks. Yes, sir, I love you, though. Fucking love Sebastian. He's honestly, like, one of the greatest dudes ever. But let's go ahead and grab this red. We'll just smack it with our flail. And always make sure to use your W as an auto attack reset. And it's looking like with how well Bottom's doing. Maybe. Can he do it? Can he do it? Up. Oh, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Man, they went on Nami. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, shit. All right. Come on. Got it. All right. Battle of the Ages. Battle of the Ages. Had five health there for a second. But, um, there you go. Man, I'm getting hypercritical of this Lucian. Not even intentionally hypercritical, just like slightly, because I want to see him succeed. I love Lucian so much. But, we are level 6 now on our Sejuani, and I do have my Cinder Hulk enchantment, meaning my clear time has gone up a lot, and I also have the power to use my gigantic bowl of ice death, and um, it will. Whoa! The level 7 Lucian getting 1v1 by the level 5 Ash. So I'm going to go ahead and take a guess here that Lucian just really overstayed his welcome, got super cocky, and now he just looks like a fool. So after I clear this, I am going to go mid after I smite the Gromp. Uh, I think I'm going to go mid. I shouldn't have to worry about ganking bottom too much. Um, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't take gank attempts when I see them. Because, just because Elena's doing well doesn't mean you don't want to give it any attention. Um, and just because Elena's doing bad doesn't mean you want to focus all of your attention on that either. You have to gauge on the success rate of the ganks that you're making. Like, if I ganked bottom with both of them there, 
It's pretty bound to be a very successful gank, but going in first, looks like Nami surfs up, going to miss. Go ahead and knock her up right there. Let's see all the damage. Don't even need to use my ultimate. Zyra coming in. Get off that pink, Mr. Astro. Wait, you're not even an astronaut. You're just Nautilus. <laughs> Loser. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my ward here. I don't know why I have my yellow ward still. But I'm just going to drop it. So let's see if we can find this Ash. All right, where are you, little girl? There she is. So, if I saw her coming around right there, I definitely would have dashed forward and ulted her. But since I didn't, just gonna run right back towards mid. Because Vi can very easily kill our Zyra right now. And it's looking like that's probably exactly what she's gonna do. So, let's see if I can do anything with this. Maybe if she's... Are you feeling... Are you feeling cocky? Are you feeling cocky, Vi? Vi, do you want your raptors? Huh? Hey yeah! Kaboom! Look at this damage coming out! It's looking like she is trying to do a bunch to me, but it ain't gonna work. So just a ton of damage coming out there. Let's see the Lucian Culling. Ooh, picking up that double kill. That was cute. That was spicy hot tamales. And now since they just killed bot lane, we can pretty easily get this dragon uh, with a little help from my team, ideally. Because Lucian's pretty damn strong right now. He should be able to help me melt this. And as long as I just don't fail smite it from Vi, should be very free. So my smite is doing 510 damage. Just kind of sit there and look at that. You can see it on the buff over your bar, just in case you don't know. And boosh! Picking it up, no problem. Now I can grab this Rift Scuttler. And I should probably get my boots here very soon. Um, oh, man. I'm sure he didn't do it totally on purpose, but... If you are not the jungler, uh, it's very courteous to your jungler to let them have uh, let them have the scuttlecrab kill because not only do they need the money, but it also gives them 50 additional gold because it does count as a large minion. So, just little things to keep in mind to keep your jungler from bitching at you too much. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this Gromp real fast and then we'll go back. Cuz, oh oh and 2 so far, I haven't been a huge factor. Um you know, all over the map yet. I haven't even had a chance to use my ultimate, because I haven't seen a real need to. But, actually, I'm going to grab the, or the mobility boots, so I can be super fast now. And now, I can try and get some ganks off. It looks like Fizz, after he lost his life once, he's not necessarily doing really well in the lane, but he's not feeding. That's, that's the key there. Um, he's doing a very good job, of just, even though he's very far down in CS, as you can see, 56 to 97. But after that death, that set him behind very far. And, since he didn't let that just be the end of him, that's the big part to note there. And I'm not sure if we can kill this Fizz, in all honesty. I am not sure at all if we can kill him. Uh, we may be able to get him to bust a flash, maybe? Probably not when it's going to go under his tower. So, oh, there's... Hmm. So they got the Scuttle Crab on this side. I'm just going to see if I can kill this bitch. And... Ba-boom! Smack her in the face with the Flail of the Northern Winds. That'll bring her to her knees. Free kill for me. And nothing against this Zyra here, but I do not believe she'll be getting this blue. Um, due to the fact that the Vi has been placing a lot of attention on her, and the fact that it's still a Syndra, that even though Syndra doesn't have a super strong early game, it's, like I said, still Syndra. And the reason I'm emphasizing that is because of the fact that her burst is still very real, it's still very reliable, it's still very easy to use. And since our Zyra has no MR, she went straight for a Merlin and Amicon, she's very susceptible to getting absolutely murdered by it. So as of the moment right now, I feel truly that I would make much more use of having the blue buff over our Zyra. And that's another thing that you just kind of have to gauge on your own uh, before you make a total choice to either commit to being a jerk or just give it up. So let's see if we can do something here to this Ash. It's looking like she's maybe gonna back off? I don't know. It's looking like she is not. So let's go ahead and just charge through here and drop the true ice ball of boosh! Get the permafrost off on her, and where's your stun, girl? There it is. So there's her flash. Can I get her? Do they have this tower? Down they do. So, and... 
That'll be boosh permafrost slowing her down and bopping her in the booty. So see ya later, Ash. And now that'll put us at 2-0-2. Using our flash, using our ultimate finally. And it's looking like Nami did die. But uh, that is okay. We did lose the tower. And again, that's okay. With the people coming towards mid as they are right now, I'm not too afraid to just act like I'm going to flank him. Yeah, that's right. You stop your recall, girl. Knock that shit off, hombre. Muchacho. All right. So enough enough smack talk. But let's go ahead and just smack the uh, the gromp instead of having smack talk and get the uh get the buff real fast and our ultimate will be back in 50 seconds. So, ooh, it's looking like Nautilus coming in. I forgot Nautilus is actually the support, but still lots of damage coming out there. Nautilus still going for this and whoa! Taking him out because he is not very tanky. And this tower is very free now. So nothing they can do or say against it. And looks like the enemy Fizz is down here. So Fizz should try and push that. And now, uh, just with how they're going. All right. Are you going to try and kill me, Fizz? Are you going to try and kill me? How many people are mid? Two of them are mid right there. I don't think it's a good idea for me to try and steal their blue right now. Not with Fizz and Vi right there. Pretty sure that's like spelling certain death. So let's go ahead and permafrost this guy. Give him a good old smack on the butt again. Lick his booty hole a bit. And come here. Yeah. Yeah. Poro, get him. Lick that booty hole. Come on. Lick it. Lick it. Mm. Yeah. He licked it so hard that, well, he died. So let's see if we can do anything here. I don't have my charge for another five segundos. But, damn, this Lucian is going ham. He is just going ham. Uh-oh. Hello! Hello! Alright. So the wolf thing, smite buff thing, is following me. Meaning that, obviously, they can see me. And Vi was just chilling up here. But, do I want to come see if I can help Zyra pick up a kill? It's looking like I do. So, Baboosh gonna knock him up, slow him down. The Zyra root will totally miss. And Boosh picking up the kill with the Ice Bola. The ultimate would. Come on, man. Don't hit him into me. Alright, the enemy Fizz coming in. The snare not going to land. So, well, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just fly over here, permafrost it, smite it. And this will be the Raptors going down. And it's looking like they do have a ward somewhere around here. Probably in that bush. Very likely in that bush. And I don't know if this is a good fight to fight, but now it is! Baboosh! And, uh, yeah, never mind, I'm not very tanky yet. <laughs> Whoops, I'm not tanky. So, I totally forgot that I haven't been back in a very long time. Um, and they actually do a lot of damage, so that was totally my mistake. Zyra had even less of a reason for to go in there than I did. She had no mana. Um, where I thought we could do stuff, she straight up had no mana. There was... Th th that, that just wasn't good for us. But I mean, it's not really going to matter that much uh, in the grand scheme of things. So let's see here. What build do I... You know, I could just get the full Frozen Heart. Should I just do it? I'm just going to do it, man. Because they have a lot of physical damage coming out from Vi, Ash, and Fizz. And if I get that Frozen Heart, that's going to be a lot of CDR, a lot of armor, a lot of mana. And it'll also provide the slowing aura. So none of them will be able to attack as fast. So just pick up the full Frozen Heart and one back. Um, after this, I'm feeling... I could go for kind of the damaging route where I go for, you know, stuff like... Lyandries and Abyssal Scepter and whatnot. Or I could go for the straight tank route, which is the one I would recommend for solo queue. Because once you get so tanky on Sejuani that it doesn't matter, no one can kill you. And you can just sit there and constantly do enough damage to carry without damage items. And it's truly ridiculous. But it's looking like Fizz Ultimate coming out. The playful tricks are going to knock him up, but the Fizz not going to be successfully kited. So let's go ahead and just BOP! Smack him for the shutdown right there. Smack this guy some. And let's go ahead and keep it up. The stun coming out on me. But. Boosh! Gonna stun him right there. Boosh! Smack him on the butt. Get the permafrost. 
Come here, bitch. It's looking like Vi is coming in for some, too. Oh, man. It's looking like now. Oh, I'm probably dead. But the Culling, he's definitely way too far forward. That was very, very greedy on Lucian's part. He had no reason to be going right into Vi's melee range. Um, so that was a little silly. He was originally doing very well, staying where he was and using the calling from a distance, but he should not have gone for the kill on Syndra, and should have instead either tried to run back away, because clearly I was dying there, or uh, just try and shoot the Vi, because getting in Vi's melee range is not, not really a good idea, um, for what I would consider to be pretty standard, obvious reasons, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyways... I think, hmm, I think I'm totally going to do that, just for fun. Uh, I think I'm going to get the Abyssal, and then see where we go from there. Looks like the enemy Fizz, the ultimates both coming out, and, well, the enemy Fizz is clearly vastly superior to ours right now at this point of the game. Uh, and we really need to group up, and all I need to do is peel for Lucian. That's essentially what we have to do right now because the game is overall very close um even with lucian as fed as he is it's definitely not like free win yet or anything near that uh and that's something we really need to keep in mind and i actually didn't keep tabs on the dragon i feel a little silly for that because that means they got their first dragon i totally missed it but looks like they picked up cinder right there and nami's just okay being a little being a little rude and wasting time. Still doing it. Still doing it. Okay, there it is. Totally missing the bubble. Now you look like a fool. And let's see what we can do. Because this could be a very easy dive depending on how I position myself. If I just go around here um, and drop the true ice bola from the side. Alright. I'm running around the outside. Alright. Boosh. Um, let's go ahead and not do it. Let's just take the turret and walk out. Because there's really... No reason for me to try and dive in that situation. But now we can jack this blue as well. So I'm just going to fly over here and ping the danger ping. I'm going to need some help. Let's go ahead and drop the stun. Holy shit, that fizz is strong. Holy shit, fizz is strong. Holy guacamole. So let's see. Wait, did Lucian? No, he didn't steal that. He just already had one. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Did not think I would get so shredded by that fizz. Like, I knew he was strong, but I didn't know he was that strong. So that was a definite wake-up call. Um, oh. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how he got in that situation himself at all. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know how he did that. So, so we need to group and just peel for Lucian. And actually, like I said, that's entirely all we gotta do here. Um, not sure why we have basically three people down here, because Nami's down here. Um, but that's okay. And I need, I need to smite this. Uh, uh, oh, she's dead. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> Zyra going down there. Let's just go ahead and just dash in here. And if I had a mind to do it, I would have flash bopped that ash so hard. But I had no mind to do it. So, ooh, ooh where are you going, Ash? Come here. <clears throat> come here. Come on, Ash. Oh, come on. Wait, does she have no boots? She does have boots. She's just slow. All right, where are you going, girl? Where are you going? Where are you going, girl? Uh-oh. Wait. Lucian's very deep again, man. Oh no. Oh, there she is. And boink, smack, it's permafrost. Picking up the kill. And I have no idea why she was there, but I'll take it. So now the Abyssal Scepter can be complete. And this game will definitely have a lot to do with me getting extraordinarily tanky. So that is exactly what will be done. Uh, we don't have a ward on the dragon, which is not good, uh, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and dash over here. Fizz could be coming towards me, which is something I do need to keep in mind. Because if he jumps me, I'm going to need to react fast to make sure that I don't die. 
because I don't think that if I just try and get away that he can kill me straight up. Actually, he probably could with this build, to be honest. But, who knows. So let's grab the Abyssal Scepter. I'm not going to go for the Lyandries right now. I originally wanted to go for the Lyandries right now, but I'm not going to go for it right now. Because I cannot afford to go for another damaging item. I got this item partially because I wanted to do a bit more damage, but partially, like more partially because I wanted the magic resistance. My other option was definitely Banshee's Veil, um, which I may still consider picking up, but I kind of doubt it because I need to do more um, physical protection. So it's looking like lots of people coming in here. Let's go ahead and drop the True Ice Bullet there. Just make sure we get out. And I'm just going to kind of jump over the wall here as <laughs> Vi tries to flash Q me. And Fizz keeps assassinating. I'm not sure why Zyro... Oh, gosh. She really needed to not get that right now. She needs Azonias really badly. But that's okay. So, what the... Team? <laughs> Team? Oh, Lord. All right. It's going to be up to me and Lucian. Um, and Nami, of course, because she's doing well for his support. But it's definitely going to be up mainly to Lucian and then me for to, or me to peel for him. And then it'll be really up for Zyra to just do nothing but try and peel for him. Because she's not really doing much right now. Luckily, the thing with Zyra is, in exchange for her having zero mobility, she does a shit ton of damage. So even if she dies really quickly, the damage she does is still just tremendous. Uh, regardless of how fed or not she is, you can truly get so much work done as uh, any any stage of the game as Zyra. So luckily, as long as, as if she can just mash her buttons, we should be good. And the dragon should be up at around 32, 30, I'm guessing. So we'll say 32 D with the little squiggly in front of it. That means approximately. And I really need to uh, keep farming a little bit. I need to get my Gromp because I need that smite buff. Um, as far as the top lane Fizz goes, uh, since our Fizz got really far behind, and he actually ended up starting to do the whole feeding thing, uh, he's damn near worthless, sadly. I, it's why I don't like Fizz top a whole lot, and it's not that he's bad as a player, it's just that the way the champion works, if you don't at least go even in the lane, or do well in any stretch of the imagination, you're basically worthless. Like, that's just how it is. Sorry to say it to all you Fizz Top Manners or whatever, they're going to be like, No, Ankle, you're wrong. But it's it's true. So right now, as you guys can see, just looking at the levels, we are clearly at a disadvantage um, in levels. So we don't really want to try and whoosh! See if we can get something here, because they really overcommitted for that one. And let's looks like no one's going down for us. But they just went too far under, and, well, that's going to be their death. And Lucian needs to not be in the front here. Uh, he needs to let us be ready to protect him. So, we actually could Baron. We should do this. We should, we should, we should Baron. We should Baron. Team? Team? See, the reason... Oh, my gosh. They're literally wasting their time trying to do this right now, but maybe I can get something off here and zone them. But there was just no point in doing this. Because if we just went to Baron there, they would have had a deficit of people. The reason you choose Baron over trying to get inhibit a time like that is because... When they have less people than us, but still at least three or four, I'd say. There's a pink in this bush. Um, it's a lot safer to go to Baron and then just split off if they try and come and stop it than to try and force yourselves to get this inhibitor turret, which is so powerful still at this point in the game, um, and try and go for the inhibitor, especially when they have three people alive that are still relatively strong. It was just overall a really big really bad call by the rest of my team to try and be so greedy like that and go for the inhibitor instead because as you guys saw we had a good situation and then someone died and we just had to back off anyways so shoot I don't know if there's even anything we can 
do right now. Because Zyra's still recalling from bottom. I really need to spend my money. And let's go ahead and just walk over here, see if I can find anything. And, alright, I don't think I'm going to be getting anything out of this. Let's see. So Fizz is 16, or Zyra is 15. Alright. So, actually, one thing you guys cannot discredit is uh, the amount of stats that come out of leveling. Just leveling alone. Uh, the stat gain is pretty big, so Fizz Ultimate coming down. Let's go ahead and just smack this guy. I'm going to go ahead and just dash there. Drop the true Ice Bowler right here. Drop the Permafrost in the middle. Do as much damage as I can to everything. And they busted way too much on me there to try and justify that at all. So that was really bad on their part. They'll lose their Fizz and their Ash to kill me. Which is simply not worth it for them right now. So that was very good for us. Very bad for them. Um, and they're going straight for the inhibitor again. Oh man, come on, guys. <laughs> we have a wave pushing bottom. That'd be a lot better to go for. But it's looking like they still want to. And it's somehow working out. So good for them. Lucian is definitely a little deep here. But who knows if it'll work out. They're focusing very badly right now. And Fizz... Oh my gosh, alright, the exhaust coming out? They're not really... Okay, alright. Well, luckily Lucian is still there going on strong. But then Fizz is going to come in and kill everything. So the exhaust coming out, and maybe... Oh, that crit, that pain! And just got it, go for it, Lucian! Go for it, and never mind, you're bopped. So, I mean, overall, they still got a decent amount out of it. But... That was a little rough. But as you guys can see, as I'm getting tankier and tankier right now, my W is doing so much damage. Um, like, a lot more than you might expect it to be doing. So now I want to go get my War Mogs. And as you guys can see, dealing 160 plus 377 plus 56 to nearby, or to magic damage to nearby enemies over 4 seconds. God, I could not say that. I could not get those words out of my mouth. Those looking like Zyra is getting the scuttler. Good job, Zyra. Good job. I'm leaving the red up for Lucian. Leaving red for you, Lucian. Just letting him know because, I mean, he probably is going to want that. Uh, and let's see here. Now, this is an awkward call for me to... Whoa! Maybe we can do something here. Let's go ahead and drop the speed boost. And, oh, that stun. Rip. So let's see, we don't really want to try and just straight up fight this right now. Um, that's just not a good idea. Because, wait, now it is! Fizz is top. So I'm just going to stay right here and see what we can do. So 800 damage on my smite. With Fizz top, we just need to do it quickly and boop! That was a very late smite, but still a smite nonetheless. And someone needs to get up there to stop Fizz from pushing the inhibitor tower down. Assuming he's still pushing, which he is. So we should probably, what we should do right now is actually pretty similar to what we are doing. Um, we're rotating as a team towards top, and if we stay in this area of the jungle, we can stop Fizz's push, and we can get right back here to try and defend this turret. And if we manage to get good picks, we are on the side of the map for Baron. So overall, we're in a very, very solid position to be standing and rotating around. With Vi being bottom right now, that could be really good. I'm going to smash into their faces. Drop the true Ice Bola Barrage. Kill two of them. Go straight for this Baron right now with Vi bottom and two of them dead. This is our best bet right now. As long as I just don't get out smited like a noob, this will be really good. So Fizz Ultimate coming in, hitting Nami. Not a problem. With Lucian Eye on this, we should melt it pretty quickly. And, uh, boop. Okay, got it. So let's go ahead and, ooh, not knock him up, but he is definitely going to be going down there, picking up the kill with my permafrost. And now we definitely need to go straight for this inhibitor. With three of them down for just a little bit, uh, the Baron buff is on us now. This is an open and free inhibitor. Zyra actually went back, probably because she was very low, so, but that works out fine for us because she can stop that huge wave from pushing. And now we can just run in here, bop the inhibitor down, and get out because there's nothing more for us to try and take here except Lucian got right in the face and well he almost made a very bad choice 
So maybe Permafrost coming out there. The Fizz Ultimate will be taking him out. And let's see. Oh, I missed. So we should back off now. Back off. Back off. Let's just get out of here. We have no reason to continue this stay. Back off. Back off. Guys, back off. We are definitely trying to sit over Sarah Welcome, and we do not want to be caught out doing that. Only thing we can try and do right now is take their buffs and leave. And it's not up, so not going to worry about that. We could try and come down here for this dragon. Or not dragon, but this tower. So I'm going to stand right here. Alright. Yeah, they can get that, no problem. Hey. Hey, man, come on. That's not very... Hey, man, come on. All right, well... Fit oh, my goodness gracious! The damage off onto Ash. And as long as Lucian just... Well, Lucian really doesn't have anything to worry about after Vi. Syndra's oom. Fizz has nothing. He's very low as well. And, man, they're putting a lot of attention on me for this, too. And that is a very dead, maybe, Nautilus? No, it won't. The triple stun coming out from Syndra there will be saving the day. And let's see, so a lot of magic damage there. And I guess I'll just go for a Banshees now. Um, I think that would be my best bet, because I already have 200 armor. I need... A, okay, or they'll surrender! But they were doing a decent amount of magic damage just from Fizz. I had so much armor that it didn't really matter that much. But just sticking as a team and making the right calls when we needed to, I'm glad they listened too to the calls, um, won us the game there. Even though it, what, it actually was a very close game overall, we just had the fed people. So, good for us. Let's see here. Here's all the ending game stuff. And we can take a look at the graphs real fast. And clearly I didn't do that much damage. But as I said, guys, even though Zyra, let's look at her score here. 6, 8, and 12 in the end. Not bad, but not like great. Considering she was 3, 8, and 8 or something, she definitely did very well coming back there. And she got her Zonias like we said she needed to. Great job, Zyra. But as you guys can see, even with all that problem in the early game, her damage was huge. She still did a massive amount of work. And I mean, our Fizz didn't really do that much damage. Um, but he tried his best, I'm sure. So good job, Fizz. Keep it up. Anyways, guys. Hopefully you learned something about Sejuani or about um, general map stuff in this video. And we're somewhat entertained, maybe. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like the favorite. Let me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, or my second channel. All four links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. It'll be a wonderful day. Peace!